the only the only real task that you have in your healing is one of the places i see a lot of people getting stuck is holding on to their own narrative about what a certain situation or experience in their life meant way after the fact way after the point at which it's still useful and this is really hard because um you know particularly if one of our wounds is around not being heard or not being able to to speak up and express our anger or you know use our voice um it can be a really important step for people to be validated for their experiences and their story but when we get stuck holding on to our side of accounts our side of the situation our the, the blame that we hold towards other people it's very easy to almost become the perpetrator yourself the persecutor and continue attacking someone else you know through my own journey there have been um my perspective has changed wildly over certain situations in my life where it's almost as if i've had a 180 degrees different different um perspective on it and so as an example um you know i had a lot of anger towards my dad and he got a big hit of that the last couple of years um because you know i i wish that he had been more present and he had been a better role model for me and i felt like i had not had much opportunity to really express myself and i was almost living in his shadow if you like and so there was a point where i really needed to tell him and i needed to express my anger and it was necessary um but also there was then a point where once i started learning about his background and his story i realized that he couldn't have been any different than he was you know there are experiences in his life that created his own trauma and his own patterns that made him act out the way that he did and so at that point i then had this compassion and an acceptance for him and an understanding um that we can't do differently really you know we all even if someone is it's really hard to accept actually because you know, even the people who really do some horrendous stuff to us, there is something in the narrative of their life that has in some way justified that behavior. That doesn't mean it's okay, but even if this person is projecting their own shame and their own trauma onto us and taking it out on us, that is the, the underlying cause that created that, right? So there absolutely is a time to fight back and to blame and to find our voice if that's part of you know part of our wounding but also trying to see have compassion for the person underneath who has their own wounds that are causing them to act out right and there are many more stages that go beyond this you know there's another stage which is being able to hold the boundary and being able to speak up in defense of what needs to be spoken to while also holding that compassion and that's probably the hardest one that i've found so far and i'm getting better at it but you know people's projections and people's wounds are really powerful and they're very good at getting energetically fed from us and uh, very good at offloading some of their pain onto the people around them you know i feel like they, i feel like that's like a little black hole and often when i'm confronted by that I feel myself getting pulled off balance and wanting to snap in return or you know wanting to take on that emotional load it's really hard and it's taking a lot of practice for me to even be able to start um, navigating that in a healthier way my point is for all of this you know all of those stages what they actually are are points of reclaiming parts of the way that we show up in the world that we have previously felt 
were not acceptable. So things that we felt shame about. So in that example I've just given, there was a point where I felt it wasn't okay for me to express my anger. And so I had to reclaim my expression of anger. There was a point where, you know, I felt like I, it was weak to, you know, be sensitive and caring and, and have that gratitude. And I needed to fully reclaim and own that again. And, you know, the only, the only real task that you have in your healing is to find those places where you feel like it's not acceptable for you to express authentically your experience in the moment and figure out how to do that in a healthier way. And very often if there's shame there and it's been suppressed for your entire life, when you first go there, it, it very possibly will come out like an overreaction, you know? It's gonna, there's gonna be years and years of suppressed emotion that's in there. And so it's very important to find safe spaces where we can open up about some of that shame and not be shamed further by people. You know, a lot of people don't wanna hear all the things that they did that hurt us. But when you realize that it's basically our own pain and our projections fighting each other and not the person underneath, then you can start to learn grace. And if you can set your relations up, relationships up in a way where you can have these conversations really honestly and know that it's not really each other's fault, it's the stuff that's happened to us, it's the stuff that's been passed down from generations to us, then we have a chance of actually clearing this stuff. But like, if you're still holding on to blame towards someone, what that tells me is that there's still grieving to be done. And there's probably part of your journey, which is feeling like it's acceptable to go there and express that, you know, I didn't cry for 15 plus years. I had that totally locked up and I wouldn't have gone near it. And I still find it hard to go there. But I also know that that's how we process this stuff and how we clear it. Okay. And so, you know, your wounds very possibly are a lot deeper than the ones I held and that grief might take years actually to get through if you can get there at all you know there are some people whose pain is just too much and they might never be able to clear it and i you know obviously empathize deeply for people who've gone through that but the best thing that you can be doing is taking active action to clear as much as you can and you know you don't need to blame anyone else you can take responsibility for your healing and the more emotions that you can release and that more of that energy that you can unblock the more that you will improve all of your relationships and free up so much energy and vitality in yourself you know it's really mind-blowing what a difference it can make when you start letting go of some of these old wings that's it thanks for watching if you enjoyed please make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments if there's anything else that you'd like me to talk about Thanks, I'll see you soon.